Right, we have some little Tamer Smashed Face by Cannibal Corpse today. This is in E flat standard tuning, by the way. Okay, so tune down all the strings one half step. And uh, it's a kind of a very technical song, as you might imagine. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna start out with this intro riff here. So, in the first time, I'm gonna have this. We played a bit slower than I played it before. Okay, so what we're doing here, uh, make sure to mute the strings when they are supposed to be muted, right, right in between all those chords. No, I like to mute them with my right hand, uh, some people like to mute them with their left hand fingers. Uh, you can also use both hands, obviously. Um, but yeah, make sure to, mute, to incorporate those short breaks in between all those power chords in the first three bars. And the, oh, and, the, and then in the final, in the fourth bar, um, I tried to figure out what they're actually playing there for a long time uh, now, and I've seen a few uh, live videos, and uh, I'm pretty sure that what they're doing is what I written in the tab, uh, <coughs> obviously. So we have starting off with the E power chord, and then you're gonna hammer on to the F power chord, right? So we go from here to. Uh, F power chord, and then you move up to the F sharp power chord. So you only strike the strings with your right hand twice uh, because you have uh, this hammer on going on here. So again, yeah, like this. Okay, so you have two down strokes. Yeah, there's this hammer on in the middle there. Uh, yeah, then the kind of a tricky part, you have to move quickly to the D string, um, fifth fret. And play and play this. Okay, so we're gonna play four times on fifth fret and three times on the fourth fret. And you can use this final downstroke of the fourth fret as a kind of a cue that the that the riff uh, ends. Okay. Um, uh, right. And uh, well. It's kind of a tricky riff because yeah, then you have to go back to the E string again, right? And um, yeah, play the riff, uh, play a new riff on the E string. Okay, um, but this riff, well, for me at least, this at least this final bar there is the, kind of the trickiest riff in the song. So if you nail this one, then I think the other riffs will seem very easy too. Uh, okay. So let's go to the second line. So here they're gonna switch to this reverse galloping here. Okay, it's on the E string, so and then you're gonna have this sliding power chord. So start with the sixth fret power chord and just you know, slide down the, the fretboard. So uh, all together slowly. It's gonna be like this, right? And I'm gonna play it three times. And then at the fourth bar, you have the same old riff again. Okay. And uh, you're gonna play the second line twice, all right? And after that, you're gonna come here to the second slide. Uh, and uh, the first line here is the end of the intro. Basically, it's, you know, 16 notes for three bars. And then it all will end on short E power chord, so it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, okay? And uh, at that point uh, the bass guitar will play this reverse riff, um, and well the guitars don't play anything, uh, and then we're gonna enter the, well, the verse riff with the guitars in the second line, and it goes like this.
Okay, I hope I didn't screw up anything here. <laughs> so very, <laughs> very fast drift, sorry. Uh, so we're gonna do, a, and he has alternate picking that, so I've seen some people you know, down picking everything here. Uh, well, you can do that too, but uh, what I've seen on their live videos, they are alternate picking. So we're gonna have, uh, well, basically just riff here very slowly. Okay, uh, play it four times, okay? Alright, and I think I have to explain that much, you know, it's obviously out of string skipping or, well, uh, well, moving across the strings very fast, so that's the tricky part of this riff. Uh, Alright, and then here in the third side, you have the continuation of the riff that I played for you before. Uh, so here, it's almost the same riff, but a bit different, uh, and obviously in different positions, starting on 2nd fret on A. Okay, and then he goes back to the old riff. Alright, and that will be like the first part of the verse. Uh, <clears throat> uh, right, and here, side number four, he goes into a different kind of riff. So here, I'm gonna play this. Okay, and then we're gonna enter the chorus riff. And uh, I should have been more uh, aggressive with the pitch harmonics, by the way. Uh, so, <laughs> but anyway, this riff, I'm gonna start off with the F sharp all chord sliding up one fret and then down again, okay? So, that's it. And then we're gonna go uh, to the sixth fret. Uh, and, well, you're gonna play it, but you're gonna add the pitch harmonic to it. So, so I'm gonna kind of vibrate it a little bit, so... Okay, and then after that you're gonna play open E. So... Okay, so, something like that. Um, and note, he kind of... Uh, play around with the tone of the speech harmonics, so like for the first four bars he will play them you know, one sound of the harmonic, you know, he will pick the harmonic at the same position in the with the right hand and then he would move his right hand a little bit upwards so you're gonna get a different pitch and uh, you know all guitars are a bit different you know depending on you when you where you pick your pitch harmonic so you can experiment a bit with that, with that sound. Uh, try to you know, add some variation to the to the riff with different pitch harmonics. Um, right, uh, but yeah, that will be that riff. And then for the chorus part, second line, it becomes much easier. <laughs> okay, and that's it. Uh, and it's gonna be played twice. So. Come on, pull off here, 7, 10, 7 on A string. And the same same thing, one fret lower. Okay, and then in the second bar, second line, uh, you're gonna play uh, palmuted, B power chord, and then D power chord. And then uh, A power chord twice, going to palmuted, going to D power chord. Okay. Uh, and you know I've seen many tabs that kind of uh, give you different um, way different uh, well fret numbers than I giving you here. I basically I when you listen to the song it sounds kind of that they move around much more than they actually do. Okay, so so some tabs say that sh that you know for those power chords in the second bar you should go like. I think something like this, 7, 6, 5 or something, and then 5, 4, 3, but if you look at the live performance and if you listen really closely, they, they don't move that much, right? Uh, they don't do those chromatic, well, kind of uh, moves here. Uh, they basically play this, the, the, what I have written here. 
Uh, well, I'm pretty sure about that. I mean, if you, you can look at the live videos, if you don't believe me. <laughs> All right, and then in the second, uh, sorry, in the third bar, I'm gonna have this sort of same idea, but a bit, a bit different, obviously. Um, so here at the very end, they actually move three, two, open. They move a bit more <laughs> at the very end with the bow chords. Okay, so play the slide twice, and then you're gonna enter slide number five. Um, so the first two bars, or actually the first line is gonna be this. Okay, so yeah, kind of uh, the old riff together with some new uh, hammer and pull offs so 252 on E on A string and 1401 followed by by this and that we already covered before and that at the end of the line we have a two beat bar so you know make sure to uh, you know pay attention to that because they switch from 44 to uh, 24 meters and then they go back to 4-4 four, four meter in the second line. Uh, and the second line is the old riff. Okay, that's what I played twice. Okay, and uh, here, slide number 6, we're gonna open with the old riff. Okay, we're gonna play this riff twice, well, play this line twice, sorry. Uh, and then in the second line, they step into the interlude part and it opens with the intro riff. Okay, and then um, I have to go to the next slide, slide seven. Yeah, and you're gonna play this riff, okay? Uh, and you're gonna play it four times, and uh, basically that's the same riff we had in the intro, but it's much uh, more intense because you have to play it uh, three times in a row, and then you're gonna end with with this, all right? Um, okay, so yeah, I, but you know the, the picking pattern is the same as before, so I, I will not explain this again. Uh, but yeah, play this intense riff four times. That might actually be the hardest part of the song to play because it's so intense and fast. Uh, you know that first line here, play four times. All right. Um, okay. So once you play this line, you're gonna go back and play, you know, verse and chorus again, and that slide three through six. Okay, all the way to slide six, and. Um, and then you're gonna come back here, but you're gonna skip the first line and instead go to the second line. And then you're gonna play this riff. Okay, and you're gonna play this riff 12 times, so I'm, I'm not gonna play it because it's a bit too much. But basically, it's very simple. Three palmuted east power chords. And then they play this little drill here for two beats. Okay, on the second and the third frets. They're gonna end with <clears throat> two strokes on F power chord and then uh, B flat power chord and sliding down. Okay, so. Okay, something like that for 12 times. Alright, and then for the remainder of the second line. We have this riff that we're gonna play twice. Um, so basically, it's tremolo picking most of the time. So so we have this, all right. And note that, that they don't palm you to those B and P bow chords here that much anymore. It's kind of you know half muted if you listen closely, but it's not really palm muted anymore. Um, all right, and uh, slide eight, uh, the riff continues. So the first line that you're gonna play four times, uh, I'm not gonna play it four times here, but you're gonna, it's gonna go like this. Okay, 
okay? So, um, yeah, same idea, through model pick. Okay, and note that they have this two four meter at the end of the line, right? so in between all this, all those four four meters. Uh, okay, and then in the second line, uh, the old riff again that you're gonna play twice. Okay, and I yeah, only played once, but anyway, you play twice, uh, and the, if you find it a bit confusing, note that. Once you're here, at the end of this tremolo riff, your pinky, or if you use your ring finger, I don't know, uh, but your pinky will be already in the position of the of the power cord, right? So you don't have to move. It's kind of a nice skill to have. Yes, yeah, so now I have to move your index finger onto the 7th fret. Okay, and then play the D power cord as well. And the same with the next riff. So here your pinky is already on the G power chord position. Yeah, and play this. Okay, and the, for the final slide, um, uh, the first two bars. I'm gonna have this old riff that you're gonna play four times. Uh, I already explained it. And then in the third bar. Yeah, again, the solo riff that you're going to play eight times. And then the whole thing is going to end on this quick uh, intro riff. Like this. And thus, Hammer smashed face. Have fun with that. <laughs>